A two-time Conference Player of the Year, second baseman Max Schrock received the school's coveted title of Male Athlete of the Year during his senior year at Cardinal Gibbons. Schrock, a 2012 Gibbons alumnus, was recruited his sophomore year by the University of South Carolina, the number one college baseball team in the country with two back-to-back -back NCAA championships. His senior year, he was drafted by the Arizona Diamondbacks, but chose to fulfill his commitment to South Carolina. During his time at Gibbons, he was the team MVP all four years and earned the title of Conference Player of the Year as a sophomore and a senior. He also received All-State honors twice. From the first games of his freshman year to the final game of his senior year, Max consistently led the team in batting average, hits, and home runs, and holds records in several categories. Max was named Freshman All-American during his first season at South Carolina. He went on to make the All-Regional Team and All-SEC Second Team before going professional. He was drafted in the 13th round by the Washington Nationals in 2015. In 2016, he was a single-A South Atlantic League All-Star and an All-Star Game MVP, leading all minor league teams in hits. Max hit his first major league home run in 2020 while playing for the St. Louis Cardinals at Wrigley Field. Following that career first, Max was signed by the Chicago Cubs. In September of 2021, while with the Cincinnati Reds, Max went 5-for-5 five five with a home run versus the New York Mets, a rare feat for any major leaguer. In 2022, his 619 batting average led spring training camp for a number of hits in the Cactus League. Earlier this year, he struck a deal with the San Diego Padres and will join them at Major League Spring Training Camp in Arizona. He is married to schoolmate Sarah Russo, who graduated in 2011. The couple are the proud parents of Scarlett Lee, who turns one this May. The first memory I have of, of Max Schrock was when the Legion baseball coach reached out to me about him coming to Cardinal Gibbons, and uh, he actually described him as um, a Brian Roberts comparable. We just never had a player, a professional player, let alone you know a guy that could be you know whatever an all-star in the big leagues. When we finally got him out there with the varsity players. You know, in the fall, you could really see that his ability to square up a baseball was was definitely varsity level at, at that point. Um, so yeah, it was it was pretty clear he was going to be a varsity player right out of the gate. When you're a young player on varsity, uh, one of the biggest challenges is being able to you know mix with the older guys because we're talking about maybe somebody that's 14 or 15 years old on the low end, all the way up to you know 18 years old. That's just a huge emotional gap for males. So. He had no problem with that, um, and that's, it doesn't just speak to how good he was because that's one of the first things is if you're really good, then people will accept you, at least as far as that's concerned, but he was able to also get along with everybody, which is not easy to do. He was our team MVP at the end of the year. We've never had a freshman be team MVP, so that went a long way towards allowing him to kind of mix with these guys. He was team MVP every year, but his numbers improved. And when they stopped pitching to him, it ballooned into other numbers. He set like the stolen base record, for example, for a season, which still is that stolen base record because they were walking him all the time and he was on base continuously. And he was trying to make them pay for that because if he couldn't hit a home run or a triple or a double, he'd steal second and third and then it would be a triple. You know, he's our first guy to get drafted. He's our first guy to go to a big time division one program. Oh, and by the way, play and be an important player there. He's our first guy to do that. He's also our first guy to, to make it to the big leagues, you know, and he's been involved with multiple organizations at this point. He continues to bat over 300 everywhere he's been at every level, but he's the best player that we've ever had. Um, he changed the game for us as a program. He was the single biggest reason that we became one of the best baseball programs in the state because he set the bar there. You know, just watching him play has just been so much fun. So I'm so excited for him. I'm so excited for his family. He is absolutely deserving of, you know, the, the Cardinal Gibbons Athletic Hall of Fame. I'm, I'm super excited for him, and I just want to congratulate him on being inducted into the Cardinal Gibbons uh, Athletic Hall of Fame.